Are you ready for the big reveal? <laughs> this thing is off the charts, right? Morning, guys. Look where I am. Grantham train station. Got an exciting one for you this morning. Strap yourselves in. It's going to be a good one today. I have bought something. <laughs> I've bought something new. You're coming along with me. We're going to Essex. I have bought a boob job and some teeth whitening. Or an XR3i. I haven't really. We are going to buy a new truck. And you're coming with me. And I can't wait to show you because this thing is mental. So go get yourselves a brew. Go get yourselves a beer. Honestly. Trying to film here, pal. Go get yourselves a brew, go get yourselves a beer, go get yourselves a matcha tea. Let's be healthy, shall we? See you when we're uh, on the train, I'll explain all, and I've got loads to tell you. Do you remember last time we were here? It was absolutely chucking down with rain. We went to get that V8. Yeah, that was here. Uh, so, it's going to be a nice day today, I think. Lots of wind, but it'll, uh, it's going to be a windy day, but it's going to be good fun. Make sure you don't go anywhere, okay? You don't, you don't want to miss this one, I promise you. Don't miss this one. Of all the ones, this is going to be mental. Like, you're going to see the, you're going to love this. Right, see in a bit. Love you, bye, 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 love you, bye. Welcome to London. We're in King's Cross. All we've got to do now is not get stuck. So now I've got to get the tube over to Essex. Right, so we're here. King's Cross. And we need to go to Black Horse Road. That's where we're going. So we need to go north on the Victoria Line. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from one person. Oh, I've probably just missed the train, haven't I? See, I've never understood why people run for train, run for the tube. It's like every two minutes there's another one. Like, why do people run? Anyway, who knows? Oh, there's a tube coming. Final train now. Uh, um, where am I at? Barking. I'm not barking. I'm going to graze in Essex. So what's this all about? Basically, uh, I'm sure most of you that can empathise with this, if you're recovery drivers or, or if you're into cars anyway, you just sit there browsing like Facebook Marketplace or browsing eBay and that. I like literally know every single like spec lift and recovery truck was for sale at any one point because I'm always looking at them, I'm always searching. Anyway, this week I was just sat there and I was scrolling through eBay. And I came across this vehicle and I was like, oh my God, I've got to have this. Like, I've got to have this for the channel. It's got, it's amazing. I put some plans in place. Now I've, I've been approached by a couple of people about buying Charlie, this, our little spec. And uh, I put a message, I put a post out saying, can the person who's, um, who's interested in buying Charlie, can you give me a call? And sure enough, it was Jake who I actually gave a shout out here. What a call this week from a lad. I think your name was Jake. Jake, yeah. He messaged me and he was like, I'm really interested. Anyway, we agreed on a price. I gave him, I got offered more actually, but I'm a man of my word. I offered it him for what I offered him. I stuck to that. So I delivered it for him to his house. Met him and his, uh, <coughs> him and his missus, Leanne. Class, lovely people, great to meet you. Um, we had a good laugh, I was there for about half an hour, it was a good crack. And anyway, I've looked down the back of the sofa, begged, borrowed and stole every penny I can get. And we are coming down here to get this vehicle. I've taken a bit of a risk, 
but it is a bit of a game changer. I'm going to give you a full walk round of it and we'll give you a bit of a tour of it for their recovery drivers now. Um, so yeah, but that's the, that's why we're coming down to it. We've got a new truck for the channel. It's going to be, I think it's going to be awesome. I've got so many plans with this. Um, it does need a little bit of work, but it's not like a project, as in it doesn't need like project work. Uh, we're about 10 minutes away now from um, from Grays, which is where I'm getting picked up by the guy who's selling it me. I've already been down, I've already seen it. I drove down last week, one evening, came and saw it, and it's unbelievable in the flesh. <laughs> it's just bonkers. So yeah, um, you'll see it in a minute. So uh, we'll meet the guy. I don't know how we feel about being filmed, but, um, but yeah, you'll see it in a minute. So I can't wait to show you. Don't go anywhere. See you in a minute. Love you. Bye, 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 bye. Love you. guys sorry about the wind noise it's probably going to be a bit windy here i don't know if i can stop it i'm at peterborough now i didn't film when i picked it up because the guy was like i don't want you to film me and my unit which is fine are you ready for the big reveal <laughs> this thing is off the charts right get ready for this three two one So basically, why have I bought this? It is immaculate inside, absolutely immaculate. Look at that. Um, yeah, TV and everything. Um, so why have I bought it? I'll tell you why I bought it. This, five seats. I've got five seats, but also because the spec. Look, let me show you the spec. Can also though, I can lower the boom. Now, for those of you that have been watching for a while, you'll know that one of my big issues is when I'm getting um, when I was getting cars on Charlie, the boom sits at quite an angle, so the front bumpers quite often hit here. And I couldn't get them on, so I usually had to lift from the rear because that was the best way to get them on there. Look at this bad boy though. The boom goes flat to the floor. Also, boom out as well. So I can boom it out. I've also got ultimately like repo arms on there. So these, these are rust welded in. So I'm gonna drill these out. I've got, I've already got some pins that can go back in there. So I'm going to sort that out when we get back, uh, but it means no more jacking up if the car's got no keys or anything like that. Look at that. What do you think then guys? Right, let's get inside. Six wheels. <laughs> oh, and the stacks. These are real. Double stacks, look. I've actually just been driving along right with the mirrors set so that I can see the stacks, so that I can see the smoke coming out. Uh, right, so let me um, explain a few things. This guy, I bought it off, he was a lovely man, right? A guy called David. So I spoke to him, I drove all the way down to Essex to see it, as I told you before. But he sort of foolishly told me that he had basically, is getting evicted from his unit and he had to sell all his spare, all his trucks 
bar one. He could only have space for one. He then told me that he couldn't use this anymore because he lived in the ULES zone or a mile away from his house was the ULES zone. He said, all my work is in the ULES zone. And he said, they've just put the ULES price up. They're putting it up to 18 pound 50 or something. And he was like, I just can't keep it. So he told me he needed it gone as soon as possible. It's been on eBay, I don't know if you've seen it. I'm not gonna tell you how much I paid for it. I pretty much robbed the guy, okay? So I got this very, very cheap. And there was a reason for that, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I went through this with a fine tooth comb. I went around the whole thing. I spent about 30 minutes looking through it, looking at everything, going over it, absolutely everything, making sure everything worked the diff, the low range, everything. The one thing I did find that he didn't spot and he didn't know about when he bought it, he told me that he, has only, he only bought it about four months ago and then his life has basically just completely, everything's just turned upside down because of, uh, because of his unit. But what he didn't spot is, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it, here, I don't know if you can see it. This camera's not very good for this sort of thing. Can you see it? I think you can. Somebody has basically tipexed or something over the engine management light and I spotted it so the engine management light does not come on when you turn the ignition on which is an MOT fail so it's come with an MOT now I'm not saying that the MOT is dodgy I'm really not but it was enough that I could go dry my teeth a little bit go and I basically went look mate I'm here now I've got cash I will buy this, I will come and get it on Saturday and it's gone out of your way. And he said he'd had something like 85 messages for this. And I just went, look, I'm not here to mess you around. I want it. I think it'll be great for my channel. It'll be great for the uh, for my business and I will give you the cash. And I gave him an offer and he walked around the car park for a little bit, kicking a few stones, rolling his eyes and he came back and he shook my hand. Order out your hand. So this is the score. I am going to put it straight to work. It needs a beacon. Um, it needs, it's going in on Monday straight away. My mate Dave, who is a tow bar fitter, is fitting some electrics for a tow bar hitch, not for the actual tow bar, just for the electrics, so that, because everyone who's used this previously um, has just never bothered putting lights on the car that they're towing. Well, I like to use lights on a car that I'm towing, so uh, it's having the tow bar electrics fitted on Monday. I've got a spare beacon sat in the unit. I'm gonna use that as a temporary measure just to, it plugs into the fag lighter, so I use that for now so that I can put it to work. But I've, st I've just, just done about 85 miles in it faultless everyone keeps putting their thumbs up to me everyone who's driving past I've had like groups of bikers pull up next to me and they're like Way! everyone loves it it's the six wheels I tell you what people are loving it I've got loads of work coming in today so I've got two people waiting for me I wanted to stop so we're at Peterborough services now I've stopped just to give you a quick walk around this is what it's all about this is what we've bought it's on the channel what I need is I need you guys to come up with a name I should have been a cricketer. I need you guys to come up with a name. I'm just going to hold you. To come up with a name on this, whatever name gets the most amount of likes is what we're going to call it. That's how it's going to work. So think of something that we can call it. But thanks for coming along on this little trip. We've got a new vehicle on the channel. It's mental. It is absolutely mental. I'm going to give you one more walk around. So yeah, tell me what you think, guys. Tell me what you think about graphics. What do you think we should put on there? How should we have it? But that's the new vehicle for the channel. Tell me in the comments what you think, guys. Thanks for coming along on my little journey to pick up the new Asbo Orange, whatever it is. I think it is the Focus ST Orange. Whatever you're doing this week, have an amazing time. Be awesome. Do it well. I'll see you on the next one. Much love, guys. Take care. See you later. Don't look before you leave. What you give, you get to keep. So long, farewell, bye-bye.